In a democracy, people rule over the country through their representatives. In this chapter, we will see how these representatives are elected. We try to understand different terms in the process of election like voter, candidate, political party, etc. Introduction Teacher, we shall do one experiment today. Student, which one, sir? Teacher, we shall elect one representative from your class. Student, what is a representative, sir? Teacher, you face so many difficulties. For solving them or to tell your teacher about them, you need the help of such student who can communicate all about those difficulties to your headmaster. That student will be called as your representative. Student, Sir, who will be our representative? Student, How, sir? Teacher, You all will vote. And the student who gets maximum number of votes will be declared as your representative. Student, Let us have election now. Teacher, Who will contest election? Student A, I will. Student B, Sir, I will. Student C, Sir, I will also. Teacher, now I will explain you everything. Election is at the center of democratic system. Citizens can select a person through election. Election is the process by which any citizen can participate in the working of government indirectly. It creates the sense of involvement among the citizens. Democracy is the form of government which gives opportunity to the people for participation. Through the principle of universal adult franchisee, citizens get the right to vote. They get the opportunity to vote and elect their representatives. The candidate who gets the maximum votes is declared as elected. Thus, the group of elected representatives comes together and forms the government. Do you mean that there are no elections in dictatorship and monarchy? Democracy is a form of government. In democracy, people have the real power. People elect their rulers. Elections are conducted at regular intervals. Therefore, people have the opportunity to change the government if its performance is not satisfactory. Naturally, the government or rulers must work for the benefit and betterment of the people. Otherwise, they will face defeat in the next elections. Famous definition given by Abraham Lincoln Democracy is government of the people, for the people and by the people. Early history of democracy is related to ancient Greece. In some cities of Greece, all citizens participated in decision making. In ancient Greek cities, the population was limited. So, it was possible for each and every citizen to directly participate in the working of the government. It means, Greek citizens of those cities were collectively taking decisions on any matter which was related to their life. It is known as direct democracy. It was possible for all citizens of the Greek city to gather together and to take a decision on the basis of majority. As the time passed by, the population increased. Now, it is not possible to include every citizen in the decision-making process directly. Therefore, the new system of representative democracy has emerged. People elect their representatives and those representatives on behalf of the people run the government. Is there any country which has direct democracy in modern times? First, what is democracy? Second, what is direct democracy? B. Constituency To conduct elections, 
the country is divided into specific areas based on the population. These areas are known as constituencies. In India, there are 543 constituencies for Lok Sabha. The area for each constituency is fixed. The voters from this area vote and one candidate gets elected. Lok Sabha constituency is for electing the member to Lok Sabha and the member who is elected from this constituency is known as Member of Parliament, MP. Similarly, the state has Legislative Assembly constituencies. The elected candidate from Legislative Assembly is known as Member of Legislative Assembly, MLA. At the local level, the elections for Municipal Corporation or Zilla Parishad are also conducted. The elections to Panchayat Samiti and Gram Panchayat are also conducted by the same method. Do we have 50% reservation for women even at Lok Sabha and Vidhan Sabha elections? C. Voter In India, a citizen who has completed the age of 18 years is qualified as a voter. It is necessary to register the name of the citizen in the electoral roll. An electoral roll is the list of voters for the particular area. Citizens have to fill the form and submit it to the concerned officer. This form is available on the website of Election Commission of India as well as State Election Commission websites. When persons fulfill the conditions of 18 years of age and are citizens of India, they get the right to vote. Their names appear in the electoral roll published by the government. The citizens in India get the election photo identity card. This card is like a school identity card. Along with photo identity card, other identity proofs like ration card, or driving license are accepted as a proof of the voter. D. Candidate Any person who is a voter can become the candidate, but there is a difference of age. For example, in India, the voter should be at least 18 years of age and the candidate for Lok Sabha should be at least 25 years of age. There are other conditions for the candidature laid down by the laws. Any person who fulfills these conditions can fill the nomination form and pay the deposit. A citizen can stand as an independent candidate or a political party can nominate the candidates for an election. E. Political parties Political parties are important in the functioning of democracy. A political party is a group of people who share same ideas about public questions. Political parties contest elections with their candidates and run the government if elected. Parties form different policies and programs on various issues related to the people and the country. They can implement these policies after getting elected. It is necessary for parties to secure the support of the majority of voters. Therefore, parties keep working among the people, helping them in sorting out the problems, etc. People support parties on the basis of leadership, programs and ideology. Besides, in an election, Candidates fielded by parties also matter. Can we have parties in school? Parties which are unable to secure majority of seats perform the role of opposition. The opposition parties criticize the government for the wrong policies. Therefore, role of opposition parties is equally important in democracy. First, what is universal adult franchise? Second, what is constituency? 
Third, what are the conditions for becoming voter? Fourth, what are the conditions for becoming candidate? Fifth, what is a political party? Sixth, do you know the name of main opposition party in India currently? F. Direct election. Option. Direct election. The voters in India elect the representatives to Lok Sabha and state legislative assemblies. This is called as direct election. People directly vote for their representatives. Indirect election. Option. Indirect election. Elected members of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and Vidhan Sabha, that is, State Legislative Assembly, vote for the election of the President of India. This election is known as indirect election. In the election of the President, the citizens do not vote directly. People's representatives elect the President on behalf of the people. It means people indirectly participate in the election of the President. Election Commission of India Election Commission of India is formed through the provisions of the Indian Constitution. It consists of Chief Election Commissioner and two other election commissioners. It performs the functions of preparing the voters list, announcing the schedule of the election and is responsible for conducting free and fair elections. It means the Election Commission has the responsibility for the complete electoral process. Don't you think that Election Commission is more powerful than the rulers? First, what do you mean by Election Commission? Second, what do you mean by MP? Third, what do you mean by MLA? Fourth, what is direct election? Fifth, Give an example of indirect election. Electoral process in India. Indian democracy is recognized as representative form of democracy. People elect members of Lok Sabha. The elections are conducted normally after every five years. So far, there have been 15 elections to the Lok Sabha. Let us look at some details about the 15th Lok Sabha election. This will help us understand the electoral process. G. Electronic Voting Machine Voters in India used to vote through the ballot paper by applying stamp on the ballot paper containing the names of the candidates. Since 2004, Lok Sabha elections are conducted on electronic voting machines, EVMs. They were first used in 16 assembly constituencies from Delhi, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh in state legislative assembly elections in November 1998. The voter has to press the button in front of the name of the candidate. Later, on the counting day, votes on all the EVMs in a constituency are counted. Fifteenth general elections to Lok Sabha were announced on 2nd of March 2009. The previous election to the 14th Lok Sabha was conducted in May 2004. General elections were held to the 15th Lok Sabha in five phases between 16th April 2009 and 13th May 2009. There are 543 Lok Sabha constituencies and one representative is elected from each constituency. 79 constituencies are reserved for scheduled castes and 41 constituencies for scheduled tribes. Only person from these communities can contest election from such constituencies. There were 71 crore 40 lakhs voters in 2009 Lok Sabha elections. 
the results of the election were announced on 16th May 2009. On 22nd May 2009, Manmohan Singh was sworn in as the Prime Minister. Career Opportunities Students can make a career with the help of research in the field of elections. Elections provide the opportunity for researchers. Many non-government agencies are ready to provide funds for survey research. Survey is done to understand the opinion of the voters by interviewing them. It requires basic skills and training to interview the voter for the survey. This can be extended to develop a career. The field of journalism also requires systematic analysis of the elections. Many television channels are interested in the data generated from surveys. Protection of Environment The use of EVMs that work on battery saved around 1,50,000 trees which would have otherwise been cut for production of 1,000 tons of paper required for printing the ballot papers if traditional system of ballot boxes was adopted. Activity Find out the number of women candidates who won the Lok Sabha elections in India since the first election. Search the names of your mother or sister in the voter list on the website of Maharashtra Election Commission under the tag Search Engine. Collect the information about any of the recent election from your state or region. Fundamental Concept Now, let us understand the entire process of election. A. Universal Adult Franchise Franchise is the right of the citizens to vote and elect their representatives. This right is equal to all. The right to vote is given without any discrimination of caste, class, color, religion or, for that matter, being a man or woman. Therefore, it is called as Universal Adult Franchise. It is based on the principle of equality. Any citizen of India above the age of 18 can vote in an election. Initially, age limit for voting was 21. Who decided to change the age limit? Percentage of voting in India 2009 58.99 percentage 2004 57.75 percent 1999 59.73 percent 1998 62.04 percent 1996 57.94 percent 1991 56.73 percent 1989 58.23 percent 1984 63.53 percent 1980 56 point85 percent 1977 60.48 1971 55.25 1960.95 1962, 55.09 1957, 63.75 1952, 61.16 School attendance is compulsory. Then why voting is not? Activity Conduct a debate competition on the topic Voting should be made compulsory. Conduct the election in the classroom for electing class representative. For example, here is the map of the Garchiroli Chimur parliamentary constituency in Garchiroli district of Maharashtra. It includes six legislative assembly constituencies within its area. Total number of voters, 
12,85,387. Number of candidates, 11. Number of voters voted, 8,37,247. Polling percentage, 65.14. Candidate A. Party 1, 2,93,176 votes. Candidate B. Party 2, 1,35,756 votes. C. Party 3, 3,21,756 votes. Declared as winner by 38.43%. Candidate D. Party 4, 23,001 votes. Candidate E. Party 5, 4,972 votes. Candidate F. Party 6, 4,228 votes. Candidate G. Party 7, 7,240 votes. Candidate H. Party 8, 4,392 votes. Candidate I. Party 9, 7,953 votes. Candidate J. Party 10. 8,916 votes. Candidate K. Party 11. 25,857 votes. Activity. The names of candidates and political parties are missing. Find out the names of candidates and political parties from above constituency.